Hi viewers, this is Sri Ravalu, Degree Lecturer in Physics. My YouTube channel is uh, yes dot yes space physics. Next one is a uh, liquefaction of helium by Kapib Jas method. So why it is uh, why here helium is taken? So in normal cases, helium and hydrogen except these two gases. All the gases temperature can fall in Joule Kelvin effect, but these two gases uh, the temperature cannot fall. Okay, so that is why Kapitja he used uh, one more uh, device, he used one more method. So, what is uh, method? Let me explain one by one. The most important modification by Kapitja was made in expansion engine where no lubricant is used. So before him, Kamerling ans he cooled the helium, but later he made certain modification. What is that modification? In expansion engine, generally expansion engine works with lubricants only. Lubricant means uh, such as grease, oil. So these are the lubricants. So without these grease or oil or a lubricant uh, no engine works but kapitja what he did he didn't use any lubricant but he cooled helium by his method so how did he cool his uh, by his method so that is uh, main thing is uh, that is we have to know here okay actually all the lubricants become solidifies at low temperature okay so our topic is uh, by making helium gas uh, converting helium gas into liquid helium gas into liquid helium so when the gas converted into liquid then what happens whatever lubricant present they become solidifies then expansion engine cannot work so that is why he no, he didn't use any lubricant <coughs> okay sorry now he used compressor where the piston is loosely fitted okay so he's not using lubricant so that is why he fitted the he fitted the piston loosely okay then no need to use any lubricant with the cylinder with a very small clearance okay when expansion takes place a little gas escape through clearance okay through the gaps uh, what happens small gaps uh, gas can escape small gas why because it is fitted loosely so that is why small gas can escape through the uh, what Ex uh, expansion engine here expansion is so rapid that escape path is inappreciable so suppose it is a device uh, containing piston suppose if you press it uh, slowly then what happens so it is loosely fitted in piston small gap through this gap what happens small gas can escape when you are pressing this piston very fast then escaping gas is very small Okay, Kapit Jas liquefier is shown in figure pure. So there is a figure, and the figure he used. You see, this is a figure. What he used pure and dry helium is compressed to 30 atmospheric atmospheres by the compression. So 30 atmospheric pressure with this much of pressure, he pressured the helium gas, and helium gas is pure only helium only no other gases contain and dry it is heat of compression is removed by flowing water in jacket surrounding a portion of tube so when this compressor compressed which contains this gas then what happens after compression gas may get heated this heated gas pass in this direction okay in this direction but uh, this is uh, this pipe tube is uh, circulated with water cool water 
then how much gas is here produced that will be absorbed by the water or removed by the water then this incoming gas becomes cools down and enter in this direction the gas is then pre-cooled so before going to here pre-cooled means before cooled by passing it through bath of liquid nitrogen boiling under reduced pressure so its pressure it is what liquid hydrogen bath it is it's a nitrogen bath liquid nitrogen bath so before entering into here gas already here cools down so that is a pre-cooled gas the pre-cooled gas is uh, divided into two parts so that pre-cooled gas uh, when enter into here and it circulate again cools down and its temperature reaches at what temperature at minus 208 degree celsius it reaches and this cooled gas comes in this direction and divided here two parts one part goes in this direction other part comes in this direction see here the pre-cooled gas is uh, divided into two parts okay at a where at a, a is here see in the heat exchanger so it is a heat exchanger one part is passes to the expansion engine so it is expansion engine so one part passes in this direction okay so one part passes like this and see due to the adiabatic expansion of gas it cools to minus 263 degrees celsius so already here how much it gas contain temperature here when it is coming this side its temperature is minus 208 when this gas uh, enter in this direct comes in this direction and enter into the expansion engine again its temperature falls down and reaches minus 263 degrees celsius and this cooled gas comes in this direction like this like this okay this cooled gas uh, rises up in the heat exchanger and uh, cools uh, second part coming downward to the nozzles so what happens this gas enter here okay and uh, what happens uh, if any gas is converted into liquid which is coming from this side that liquid gas can and uh, that liquid can fall here into this uh, flask that is called the bar flask and uh, in any gases which is not uh, converted into liquid thus travel in this direction and the traveling gas can cool the gas which coming downward direction direction okay so it uh, it's moving in this direction that gas can cools again a gas which is coming like this heat exchanger cools okay this cooled gas rises up in the heat exchanger so like this it rises up and cools down and cools the second part so second part is this part part coming towards the nozzle end so where is the nozzle nozzle means that is a small gap see where is the nozzle i will show you nozzle so see this is the nozzle small gap is called nozzle okay the second part is now so cooled after so cooled that after expansion at nozzle and it is liquefied so here cool what happens that cooled gas when it uh, comes outside from this nozzle it reaches enter into the large space so when the gas compressed gas enter into the large space what happens it is again cooled down so this uh, gas what happens already cooled gas when again it cools it converted into liquid so like this it is um, liquefied the second part is now so cooled that after the expansion it nozzle okay so like this second part is also uh, at the second part are not work. again this gas again goes upside if any liquid any gas is not converted into liquid that is that is most absurd again cools coming out downside coming gases the liquefied portion is collected in divar flask so in which device we can collect the liquid formed uh, anything liquid formed hydrogen or helium that is called divar flask 
and the remaining part goes back to the compressor through heat exchanger. So here all the gas cannot be converted into liquid. A few gas what happens which cannot convert it that uh, uh, comes backward direction, travels backward direction like this through this pipe and enter into the compressor again. Again compressor it is compressed and travel in this direction okay and then it is converted at this part, point and a part of gas travel in this direction part of gas comes in this direction and a gap is just coming this side cools down and converted into liquid that liquid flows in this direction and it will be collected by the divar flask okay friends so this is a simple experiment and a small very easy experiment but you must understand first you must uh, remember this uh, diagram so when you are when this diagram is in you can write uh, the story easily this story you can write easily okay friends thank you don't forget watching this video till the end